Hello, this is Francisco Curibari, and I want to talk about uh, the Arch Wiki pages, which are an excellent source of information for those who run Arch Linux or an Arch Linux derivative. Of course, if you run an Arch Linux derivative, you should be a little bit careful when you read such pages. The Arch Wiki pages can be accessed from here from wiki.archlinux.org and then you can navigate from there. There are web uh, wiki pages for nearly everything, including some computers. For instance, I'm using a Dell XPS 13 notebook, which is the 9343 model. And there is an Arch Wiki page for that machine, which I find extremely useful. I use several pieces of information from here. And um, yeah, I should note that uh, this computer has uh, a dual mode audio chipset that supports both HDA and I2S standards and the operating system chooses which one is going to be used. When I, I ran, I first ran Ubuntu Linux on this machine, then Fedora, then Antergos, and I'm now running Manharu Linux. When Fedora moved from HDA to I2S, I lost audio completely, and then I switched to Antergos, and then I had to compile my kernels for some time in order to get uh, support for HDA until I believe kernel 4.8 or 4.7 or something like that. And um, I also got um, those pieces of information that were very useful at that time from Archweek pages. And now that I'm running Manharo and when I was running Antergos on this machine, uh, audio quality was not... Um, acceptable it's still not a hundred percent especially recording uh, audio quality using the internal microphone but i got several pieces of useful information from this week page this post audio slash troubleshooting week page i followed all the suggestions here and i implemented several changes in the configuration files and um, especially this part here about uh, echo noise cancellation that was not um, in my in my default.pa file let me show you cd etc post and then i added this section here to my configuration file a few days ago and if you take a look at my previous videos uh, audio was much worse so yeah uh, this is one example of many of useful information that i got from arch week pages i I ran arch linux for a while that i installed using the felice installer I also ran Antergos Gnome, Antergos KDE, Manharo uh, KDE, Manharo Gnome, OB Revenge. So in with all those distributions, I was able to solve some problems by reading the Archweek pages, of course. And let me state that again. If you run an Arch derivative, you should be a little bit careful when you read the, the Archweek pages. <clears throat> but all in all, the Archweek pages are a valuable source of information. And if you run Arch or an Arch derivative, you should always try to take a look at those pages, read those pages, and follow the directions <clears throat> available there.